Hello everyone and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today I'm back on one of my favorite little creeks to do a little bit of holdover trout fishing. This area was stocked a while back and it got a ton of pressure in the first week of stocking. The weather was beautiful and this creek was loaded with people. We actually came out here and we fished this creek and we had a little bit of success and I'll share those catches with you guys right now. There we go, fish on. Chunky little rainbow. There we go. Fish number two to bite for us. Fish number one in the net. Just a little guy. Oh, looks like you still got our, our hook there. Just managed to rip the old bug. And that's all right. That bug has been used many a times. Let's let him go. There we go. Fish on. Two pretty quickly in a row though. After changing up to that KO pink color. Both of them are quite small, but We'll take them nonetheless. Happy to have them. There we go. Beautiful colors on that guy. Let's let him go. There we go. Fish on right there. Switched up that old black bug and this one had to have it. Come in little buddy. There we go. There we go. Another one. Another one on the K of pink. Hard to beat. Oh. There we go. A little puppy slide on out of here. There he is. Yep. Got him that time. Right spot right there. It was. Ain't a whole lot of size to them, but there are plenty of them. That one came on the old white bug. Yeah, old white color. Would it be taking that bobber down about right there? Oh, he spit it out. There he is. Got him that time. That's the that's the juicy spot. You want to use white? Yeah. I think that white color is gonna be the deal for down there. They can just see it better. The pink's been good in that more shallow water so far. Well, oh, rip my old bug. There he goes. I wouldn't do it. You're going to get them waders full. <laughs> let, yeah, just let him go. That's why I didn't try to get him. Now, as you guys see, 
we had some success out here fishing in one of my favorite little creeks with all kinds of people all around us. It was absolutely crowded and a complete and utter madhouse. But we had a ton of fun nonetheless, but we are back to see if there's anything left in this little creek. So in today's video, I'm gonna be throwing around that black creek bug, one of our black ball head jigs on some four pound fluorocarbon line spooled up onto that Fluger President reel, backed by that Fenwick Eagle seven foot two piece. But I don't wanna waste any time, I wanna hop in here bounce around these pockets, see if there's any fish left behind and see if we can trick them into biting one of our lures. There we go. Felt that little sugar bugger bump that thing all the way to us. A beautiful little rainbow. There we go. Fish number one. We'll take him. Take off, buddy. There he goes. Back in there to join his buddies. All right, guys and girls. So far, we've been throwing around that old black bug. We've had a few bites. We picked up one little guy, but I'm thinking we might want to downsize and put on something a little brighter. So I opted to go with that yellow creek grub. Got that same black jig head on. Shouldn't mess with it too much. Let's drop it on in there. Let's see if we can get somebody's attention on it. Ooh, very first cast we had a bite. Another bite. Got him. There we go. Quick color change and fish on everyone. Fantastic. About the same size as the last one, maybe a little bigger. That's all it took. A quick color change, downsize that presentation and those fish came on over to get it. Wow, this little guy has been caught many a times it would appear. These are all holdover trout, so they were real surprised there. Going ahead and let him go. His little mouth is all beat up. Looks like he's falling for several people's tricks. But we'll take him for fish number two. Heck yeah, everyone. Well, everyone, looks like just a quick two out of stock number one. Managed to get one on that black bug as well as that yellow grub. Really thought that color would help us pick up a few extra bites. But it seems like these fish are pretty tight lipped. As you guys seen on that second one, it had multiple injuries in its mouth from being caught and released what appeared to be multiple times. So all we can do is keep it moving and hopes of finding some fish that aren't as pressured. All right, sliding into one of my favorite little sneaky holes. There are boot tracks just everywhere down in here. This little spot has definitely been hit awfully hard. We're gonna throw out our old creek bug, bounce it around. See if we can get somebody to come over and get it for us. Well, everyone, that is pretty much going to do it. What an awesome time out here trying to catch those holdovers. They proved to be very difficult to catch today. We did manage to at our very first stop. We covered tons of water in between and really never had any success. So we were doing a one versus one soon after stocking versus holdovers. It's safe to say those closer to stocking dates definitely held more fish. This little location gets hammered super hard and I'm not surprised that there wasn't much left behind, but I had a ton of fun trying anyways. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash that like button. And as always, drop me a comment down below. Every comment really does help out the channel and I do my best to reply to each and every one of them. And if you'd like to get your hands on some of those lures used to catch all of those fish, 
those holdovers, and those fresh stockers, all you've got to do is click that very first link down there in the description. It'll take you straight to my website. Be sure to use code YouTube10 in all caps. Save 10% off any order, $25 or more. Get out there if you can, everyone, and do yourself some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.